Hi everyone, Kelly Mahler here from the series How I Feel, Making Sense of Emotions Through Interoception. And today I wanted to talk about the different degrees or levels that we all have on how aware we are of our interoception signals or remember those feelings coming from the inside of our bodies. Some of us are more aware of the way our bodies feel and other, others of us can be less aware. And today I wanted to focus on those people that are a little bit less aware of their body clues or the, the internal feelings coming from their bodies. And for these people, they oftentimes miss out on very valuable clues that give them information about what emotion they're feeling. So for example, if you miss out on the feeling of a growling stomach, you are missing a very important clue that's letting you know that you're hungry and it's time to eat. Or if you miss out on the feeling of a full, heavy stomach, you're missing out on a clue that's letting you know that you are full and you need to stop eating. Or if you miss out on the feelings of tight hands and tense muscles and maybe overall sweaty skin, you're missing out on really valuable clues letting you know that you are starting to feel frustrated. And so for these people, in science sometimes it's said that these people have low levels of interoceptive awareness. And all that means is that for, for these certain individuals, they just are less aware of their internal sensations. And the good news is that research clearly shows that there are certain strategies that can be used to improve interoceptive awareness or to improve the, for these people, to improve the ability for them to notice and understand their body clues. And we will be talking later in this series about some really exciting strategies that we have developed that are having really promising effects on, um, on our clients' lives. So more on that later. In the meantime, see you later.